The question now is, does this mean we're headed for a recount? CBS 17's Russ Bowen joins us now to break it all down for us. So, Russ, what are we looking at? All right, so the simple answer is there's a maybe. If all the ballots were actually counted today, then yes, we're not there, though, because we're waiting, as Michael Hyland just told us, on as many as 117,000 absentee ballots and any provisional ballots that are out there. So let's look at the numbers here. Attorney General Josh Stein currently, he's sitting at 10,000. 769 votes ahead of Jim O'Neill. What does that mean? That's only a 0.2% difference, right? All right, so here's how the rule works. A recount comes with a difference of 10,000 votes or one half of 1% of votes cast, whichever is less. So that 0.2% I mentioned, if you can come back to me, that puts us in the range that could be based on absentee ballots. It's all going to depend on what happens in the next week or so. All right, it's a similar situation. I'm going to get rid of these numbers and I'm going to show you something else because there's another race we're paying a lot of attention to. It's the Supreme Court Chief Justice, where Paul Newby is now leading incumbent Cherry Beasley by 3,742 votes. That comes to an extraordinarily close race of not 0.8, 0.08%. Political scientist Chris Cooper puts it this way. And this does happen, right? This happens from time to time in North Carolina. This is not a cause for concern or alarm or any questions about the system. It's really a good example of the system working well. So again, this all depends on where the uncounted ballots fall. It could go in either direction for either candidate and determine whether we have a recount. And remember, we did this again back in 2016 with the state auditor's race as well as the governor's race. And we didn't have those results until December. It's, it's incredibly possible, at least, for these two races, we might go there. We'll just have to wait till next Thursday or Friday to find out, Angela. All right, Russ, thank you. And CBS 17 is your local election headquarters. You can find all the results online right now on CBS17.com. We are tracking the very 